So you, you brought this ledger in front of us. And since we're on the topic of Sunny and being crammed, like tell us your original vision for <laughs> what Sunny was going to look like. It was, it was a inside. Honda Accord. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it's a joke. So there have been a lot of ways that we thought of Sunny, right? Sunny was never a Citroën. That was just until we reached Europe and then we saw it. Right? Okay. okay. But before we're like, well, what are we going to do? We had a bunch of thoughts. And I think one of the number one things that I wanted was not to be another food truck in the United States, because again, we have to be different in a way that people, before they try your product, they have to be enticed to go there. And then we are a food truck. When you think of food trucks, you don't think of the highest qualities of the highest value of the best coffee, filtered water or anything like that. We even call them roach coaches. You know, that's, that's at the end of the day, what a lot of people think. So I'm like, how can we, <laughs> how can we bring people out of that idea and then interest them in the product that they can go everywhere else. And wherever we parked, there were really good coffee shops around us. And so we go to Europe and I see a couple of their vehicles, but then we reached Scotland and I see this red Citroen and I was like, that's it. That's where I'm going to go for. I don't know how the heck I'm going to do it, but that's what I want. And all of that, I remember reaching out, reading a lot of things. It was very difficult to try to understand if it was going to be a yes, if it was going to be a no from the federal government, because again, those vehicles were not made for the United States. They were not rated with the United States safety that they had put in place for all imported vehicles. And so I started drawing and I remember saying to Tony, we're going to have all this. It's going to be amazing and it's going to be great. And so here it's going to be a show and tell, but here. This is what I envisioned Sunny to be at. And these circles, all of these circles were going to be a pour over station. Oh, wow. wow. That's a massive truck. Right? Okay. And then the order window was going there's to be... A, for people listening, there's about 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 pour over station yeah. areas. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And the exit was going to be on the other side, right? And then so you would be able to order here. This is how dumb we were because we were not thinking about... Are this looks gonna... like a coffee shop. Exactly. Like a exactly. massive coffee shop. <laughs> Order window. On wheels. Like the 4, espresso square grinder, feet. the espresso machine, places for your cups, the pickup window, all of the sinks. And I'm like, oh, there's empty space here. Plants. Perfect. <laughs> that's, that's what I envisioned it to be, right? And then so we bring in Sunny to the United States and we're like, uh, wait a second. How are we going to actually get all these things in there? Like, I want all of these things. And then we go to the builders and then they're like, they're from Europe themselves. So they're like a Citroen. You're going to fit all that in there. And they're mm. like, they laughed in our faces. They're basically like, cause it's a smaller. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and also like, obviously we've never done this before, but if you go into sunny, there is a trash can. There is, you know, espresso knockbox. There is drawers that you need. There's storage that you need. And they're like, where are you going to put it? Yeah. yeah. Where, where's That's this going to fit? And then if you guys notice, and I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's no generator, right? There's no water, right? There's nothing. Right. So that's how novice we were. That's how dumb we were at that point. <laughs> and so th this was our idea. And then we went back at it and then we just started doing all these things. And then at one point we were like, okay, well maybe like three and three, the espresso machine here. Okay. So still six pour over stations. Yeah. Like okay. my thing was, I wanted it to do It sounds like you really overs. wanted to do pour overs. <laughs> well, the whole idea was that since we were doing like, you know, direct traded coffee, I wanted to have a mm. pour over from every country to distinguish ourselves from everybody. And they were going to be mixed with different things. And kid you not, we never did a pour over inside of Sunny. Would you consider doing a pour over station outside of Sunny here? Like in the kind of by the merch area? I mean, if you we could, were rated right? for it, it would be cool. You, all you need is hot water, which you have. Hot water. Or you outlet. could just have a, a portable hot water thingy. Yeah, we just need an outlet. Yeah. And a table. That'd be kind of cool. Like if you do like pour over Friday or something, I don't know. It would be fun. Ooh. Happy hour. I'm just trying to make your dream come make true. Make it an event. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. yeah, happy hour, 4 p.m. or something like that. After hours. Yeah, I mean, pour overs are one of those things that separate you from certain coffee shops. Because totally. Because they take skill. It's not like you can just pour it and be like, whatever, which is what I did at the beginning. I was like, let me play around with it. Yeah. At one point, Broker we were... Chemex on so many. Yeah. That one Chemex inside of Sunny and the ones that we had at home, just uh, never mind. But, you know, it was, it was a dream at that point and obviously now we see the result of it which she's beautiful you know inside of it i go in there every day and i'm like wow it's really cool in here yeah it's done well it is super super well done so, everything's super thoughtful but it's as closest to the dream that we could have 